The Impressionist, a novel in progress. One. Uh, still only two months into the COVID-19 pandemic, March will prove to be a cold and dreary month, if too much moisture is in the air. I've been watching the Amazon offering for which uh, you wrote the script and uh, that you then managed to produce, and I've been fascinated and absorbed by it from the first episode. You've chosen some profoundly damaged people as characters, Harriet. And uh, I feel, well, <laughs> entitled is a poor choice of word. I once had an aunt, uh, Harriet, and that was her name. And then there was a woman I, whom I knew since I was eight years old. I met her at the time uh, one of my parents had become recently divorced. And she had sent her oldest son from nearby Fisk Street to say hello and propose that we do some stuff. And uh, we became fast friends. And I spent a lot of time at his parents' house. And on Friday, sometimes I would sleep overnight uh, there where my buddy and his little uh, brother and I could watch uh, The Twilight Zone, Alfred Hitchcock and Route 66 uh, on their TV down in the basement bedroom they shared. Oh, by the way, I got the next episode queued up, the seventh. Uh, there is a good deal to say about your work. It, it is so tightly interwoven. One is at a loss where to begin. Look, uh, Ms. W., you have no idea <coughs> who I am, apart uh, from what I've already just shown you in this uh, letter. Uh, well, my my wife interrupted me just a moment ago. She gives the appearance of being quite transparent. <laughs> I'm old, 68, and yet I feel as though I were 25 again. Though, sadly, I do not uh, still possess uh, my younger self's stamina, nor, alas, potency. But I've gotten away from uh, the matter at hand. <laughs> my wife, who is uh, Chinese, keeps distracting me, and now I'm speculating that she feels a smattering of jealousy. Are actors jealous of one another's talents, Harriet? Or is an actor's admiration for the others similarly employed unalloyed? I could cut this page from my journal and mail it to you. <coughs> I believe there is an abyss which uh, we have both peered down into in our separate ways. And I draw back still from what I regard as uh, work of the highest caliber on streaming television. And for this, I have no explanation. Karen is the one to whom Emma begs for the truth. I believe, Harriet, uh, that you must be kind to be strong, and you must be strong to be brave, and dare I say brave to be kind. <coughs> Miss Harriet Warner, are you by chance Jack Warner's daughter? <coughs> Hollywood does have a distinct uh, transgenerational aspect to it. The Fondas, the Bridges, the Eastwoods, if I'm not mistaken, the Garlands, even the O'Neills. During the seventh episode, I broke off and returned to episode one to verify your last name as I had uh, recalled it, Harriet. And uh, that surname of yours is indeed Warner. Once uh, motivated, I pay very close attention to the progression of or unfolding of events. 
Earlier at the supermarket tonight, the cashier in her mid to late twenties had a, a large and elaborate tattoo of Spider-Man on her forearm. I'm surprised Albertson's uh, doesn't make her wear a long sleeve shirt. I decided to remark upon it, and uh, she clearly wanted such impressions from the passing customers as they unloaded their baskets of food uh, onto the conveyor belt. Uh, by what seemed mutual consent, we fell into a trivial flirtation. Uh, since I am old and we are not in a bar, we were not in a bar, perhaps we were both uh, emboldened. It was rather odd, now that I think about it, but it was rather pleasant, too. I damaged myself when I was 18, when I seriously attempted suicide. And even though I vowed to never make such an attempt again, it still took me decades to face down what I'd done. And I had read beneath the wheel. I knew what I was in for, life in the working class. Again, once more, I'd break off watching the first episode in order to write this letter to you. I have uh, this uncanny feeling, as though I know you. And yet I, I can also understand that my strong, intense impressions I've received from your television series have all come ultimately from your imagination, I suppose. Maybe I've just smoked too much indica tonight. Thus, uh, Thus has begun an imaginary correspondence with a woman who happens to be a film director. Given her name, it's possible that she is related to Jack Warner, the actor who was quite good, or one of the studio heads of Warner Brothers. The sociology of Hollywood uh, functions like a village, and within it uh, can be found any number of people quite talented as well as often troubled who are all competing against one another for roles in films and television. The screenwriters compete against uh, the horde of other screenwriters, and the director-writers compete against uh, similarly ambitious auteurs bent upon displaying their stories to the public. When uh, once interviewed in his old age, Kurt Vonnegut uh, said that he would go into film directing now, if he were once again a young man back in his mid-twenties. But in old age, when work is no longer possible nor necessary, both men and even some women come to embrace solitude. From the time I was a boy, I've been a curious and diligent student. I, I learned a long time ago that nothing can be acquired on a more or less permanent basis in one's life except through dedication and sacrificial personal labor. And laboring uh, within the mind is perhaps the most difficult form of labor there is. When I was a boy, I would walk down the hill to Dismore's IGA and Modern Drug nearly every Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, whenever the weather was decent. A walk of ten minutes, perhaps fifteen at most. And to me, at the time, this distance seemed like nothing, as a multitude of thoughts and memories milled about within my mind. I did not know then that each word and visual image is an instrument, an invention of humankind's primitive technology. Uh, for we still use words today to convey ideas as well as to conceal them from others. East and West first met as far as we know when a young uh, intrepid adventurer from Italy traveled the Silk Road to 